Okay, I want to talk real quickly about cylinder liners for diesel engines. They're not used in the uh, gas engine American-made cars. The uh, piston <coughs> here travels up and down inside the uh, engine cylinders in the gas engines. But with the diesels, they have those liners. These liners are called drop-in liners, but that's kind of a misnomer. They don't actually drop in very easily. You have to force them out, and then you have to take a, um, a hone. This is a deglazing hone, and you can deglaze the inside of the cylinder wall of the uh, crankcase of the, of the engine block, and then drop the liner in, okay? Uh, the thing is, these new liners are thick. They have to be cut, about a millimeter of, of steel has to be cut out of the center of them before the uh, piston will fit down inside there and travel, okay? Uh, they won't go in there no matter what you do. And now you can take these three stone hones and over a long, long period of time, you could cut them out. See, this one is starting to accept the piston. Okay, I've got it real close. I spent a lot of time, three sets of, of stones with this. This is not the proper tool for cutting uh, the liners out. You need to take either take it to a machine shop or you buy this four stone hone, uh, which uh, looks similar to a piston, but it's got these uh, uh, stones, of course, and then there's a medium and a fine. Then you run it up and down inside there and it cuts the, uh, it cuts the meat out of there or the steel relatively fast to accept the piston. So that's uh, pretty much everything I know about uh, drop-in liners.